I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a peacock. I'm going to take two fingers right in the center and underneath I put a dot. And from that dot going towards the left I draw a curved line down, straight line, come back to the dot on the right, curved line down, straight line. I come right here on the left and I'm going to draw a curved line in out, connect on the left, come over here on the right, we're going to do the same thing, curve line out, in, connect. I come back to the left and I'm going to draw another curve line, connect on the inside, come on the right, another curve line, connect on the inside. In between the two, I'm going to put on the left, curve line up, curve line down, connect, I'm going to come back to the left and I'm going to draw straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up, connect. I come inside and I'm going to mimic this line again. I draw a curve line up, curve line down, connect, and right here I'm going to put one, two little straight lines. Now I go back to the left and I'm going to draw a straight line, curve line in, connect on the left, straight line, curve line in, on the right. Come back to the left. Down here we're just going to draw a straight line, curve line off the page, come on the right, straight line, curve line, off the page. Starting on the left, I'm going to draw a curve line, curve line, keep going, all the way around, keep going, 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 all the way down on the right hand side. And connect. Inside I'm going to put a dot. Inside I'm going to put one dot all the way around. And you will know that this will have a lot of repeating patterns. So in the coloring and the drawing. Okay, I come back up and I'm just going to add a curve line on the bottom, on the left, add another curve line on the right. Starting on the left, I'm just going to put curve lines, curve lines, curve lines all the way across. Some of you will have more, some of you will have less. I'm going to leave all of the rest of that alone. Now, Starting down here on the right, I'm just going to draw a straight line out. Next line, wavy line out to the edge. Next line, straight line out, leave it floating, wavy line, straight line off the page. Right here in the center, I'm going to put a straight line down, curve line out, in, out, in, out, in, straight line down. Jump over, we're going to draw a straight line out, curve line to the edge of the paper, straight line out, curve line to the edge of the paper, straight line out, and if you have room, curve line to the edge of the paper. Now I look over on this side and I think to myself, I forgot my curve line out to the edge of the paper. Okay. At the end of each one of my straight lines, watch what I do. I draw a big curve line out, in, connect. I put little straight lines all the way around the edge. I come inside and I'm going to draw a curve line, big curve line out, over, connect. Inside I draw another curve line, and another curved line. Okay? Come to the next straight line. I'm going to draw a big curved line out, in, connect. Inside, I'm going to draw another curved line, curved line connect, 
little curve line, little curve line, connect, little straight lines all the way around the edge. Keep going if they fit. Now I come over to this straight line and I am going to draw a big curve line out, up, connect. I'm going to come inside, draw my bigger curve line, little curve line connect, little curve line inside, straight lines all the way around. This little one right here, if you can fit, I'm going to bring it down a little bit, big curve line out, connect, little curve line inside, little curve line inside, little straight lines going around the edge. Okay, come down over here, we're going to draw a bigger one, big curve line, connect, little curve line inside, bigger curve line, one more if you can fit it, and little straight lines. Again, this is a repeating pattern even though they are all different sizes. And I have one more down here at the bottom. Big curve line. Connect. Little curve line inside. Little curve line. Little curve line. Little straight lines all the way around. Okay. I'm going to come in and color this part black. So I can see my eyeballs. This is black. And I'm going to keep my uh, black out in case I forgot. Because you know how I am. Sometimes I forget parts when we start coloring. Okay, let's see how we are going to color this in. Okay, each one of my, excuse me, each one of my eyes is a pattern in color. So the first thing I'm going to do is color all the eyes on my peacock. They're not real eyes, these are their feathers. So the outside part is going to be green. I'm going to do a little bit of black on the inside. I'm going to come in and do a beige or a light. This could be any uh, yellow. I'm using an apricot. And right there at the center, I do my blue-green, turquoise. You can do these combinations any way you want. This is what I'm using. So, again, we do the outside part green, light green, yellow green. Inside is black. Apricot or yellow for the outside. And then that blue green. So Mother Nature even has patterns that she uses of color. So we're going to do green. And see, what I like to do is I like to do everything at the same time. A little bit of peach or apricot, a little bit of black, and put that blue-green. That was a little one. Okay. Since I have my blue-green out, let's do this one. Blue-green, apricot, I'm sorry, black. Good thing it's black. Uh, apricot and then my yellow green. Now, some of you might have fancier crayons so you can do these in those metallic colors. That looks really cool but I don't have any. So I'm using my regular crayons. So black, turquoise, you can get see it better on these big ones. Blue green, apricot or yellow, peach, and then yellow green for the edge. And as always, we know you guys will do a better job than I am. So we're going to do black, blue green, apricot, and then green. So really the most intense part about coloring are these eyes, feather eyes. Next, I take a regular green and I'm going to color all of my curved lines going around this section and it kind of looks like it's framing the head. So you'll do this green. Then, using regular blue, 
the top part is blue the little feather tufts up here are blue skip down this is blue this is blue and this is blue the rest of it he's got a white beak this is a male so it's a boy white beak and then that's marking says white okay now the next part is double coloring and the easiest way to do it is if you see a black line use your dark your regular blue up and down just to get that color on there I do the top and the bottom so I add double color right there because peacocks are pretty intense with their colors so you go ahead and do that I was thinking of doing purple too but then I thought no do it normal do it the way it's supposed to be but you do that blue then you come in with your green and you are going to draw curved lines this is getting layers of color on your feathers curved lines all the way around and down because you've got a lot of a lot of feathers then come back in and loop-de-loop -loop over all the white so you don't see all this white paper so this is layer number one bring it up and over okay you want to get rid of that white background paper then the last thing you do is take your regular blue crayon oh wait forgot the blue turquoise we're going to add some turquoise too again to your lines follow the black add your lines top and bottom add your lines this is now the blue green so it's got a lot of layers of color put one right there one up here okay then with your regular blue you can just add a little bit more curved lines okay bring it all the way down and as always you will do better than me okay let's see what this looks like all colored in okay here's my peacock all colored in and what's interesting about this is we did a cropped picture of him you don't need to see the rest of him to know that he is a peacock okay bye bye